A dozen highly trained Chicago police SWAT team members are facing suspension after a major miss, a mistake that CBS2 investigator Brad Edwards learned could have had deadly consequences. Chicago emergency. Yes, they're shooting like crazy. About 25 now. 25 shots. They are shooting over here right now. December 1st, 2016. CPD Commander Noel Sanchez was on patrol in an unmarked unit when bullets pierced his Ford Taurus. Shots fired at the police. Shots fired at the police. It was the third time in a week that Chicago police were under fire. Just by the grace of God, they're all here to tell the story. The alleged shooters then holed up in this ramshackle Southside coach house. Bullets tattered the bends in the alley. Hours later, SWAT gained access with flashbangs and force. Police arrested Isaiah, 50 more, and two others. But two investigators learned the SWAT team made a critical error. Per the report, when clearing the premises. When SWAT clears the scene, it's supposed to be safe, isn't it? That should be a message of safety, that everything is covered. Former CPD Sergeant Richard Schack chairs the Criminal Justice Department at National Lewis University. Your takeaway. It's a huge mistake, and lives could have been put at risk. Because, per the report, a further search revealed that two other persons were hiding in the crawl space of the attic. SWAT missed two guys. If I were in charge, I would say that there's discipline warranted, but discipline has many facets. And in this case, discipline would be instructional. These officers are trained how to search, but it needs to be reinforced. The SWAT guys will say they were exhausted. It's taxing, it's exhausting, but at the same time, you have to finish the job. One of those who SWAT missed, who lingered in the crawl space, Black Peastone gang member Avanti Byram, AKA Menace Urjani, now charged with attempted murder for allegedly taking aim at Commander Sanchez. And again, a dozen officers face reprimands and suspensions. Sources tell me several plan to dispute their punishments. CPD SWAT is nationally recognized, the department said in a statement. Quote, the officers received appropriate discipline for their actions and the special functions division will ensure appropriate retraining for those officers. Robin Erica. So the training's there, but what about the reinforcement that they were talking about in there? How yeah. do you reinforce that even if you're tired and you've been through all this and you're the SWAT team? Yeah, I mean, that, that's, that's a good question there. And they will cite and have cited to me sources saying they're exhausted. But training is certainly welcome here. And it's one thing, as we know from that DOJ report, said was, was sorely lacking in the department. Uh, and they'll get that, that retraining they probably need. Uh -huh. All right. Thank mm -hmm. you, Brad.